name is Carly Beef. I'm the Program Director at Interactive Ontario. Interactive Ontario is a trade association and we represent companies working in interactive digital media. So that means things like video games, e-learning, augmented virtual reality, multi-platform storytelling, all sorts of new things that are popping up all the time too. So we started the apprenticeship program last summer and it went really well. Uh, I know at least a couple of the participants were hired at their host companies afterwards. Uh, so we decided to do it again this summer and expand it a little bit and offer a few more placements at different companies. So what really interested me about the apprenticeship with Group Media TFO is the Love Studio. It's really impressive. They do virtual reality in real time. So my role was really to shadow and to learn as much as I could about different parts of Group Media TFO. So this is our virtual reality studio. Everything is done using green chroma key. Everything is keyed in the control room. Right here you'll see camera one, camera two, and our jib. Our lights are right over there and right in front of you are some screens where as an actor you can see yourself and the virtual reality set in real time which is really really cool. My name is uh, Jerry Anroto and I'm a principal operations uh, technician here at Group Media TFO. The doors that I hope I apprentice will open uh, for me and others is just giving opportunities to young professionals to actually be in the professional work environment, whether that be the media industry or elsewhere, and get a chance to shadow and see common practices uh, within the industry and how things are done differently depending where you are. Two years ago, I approached Interactive Ontario. Um, we had a desire to create a program that would target underrepresented groups in the video game industry. Interactive Ontario was so receptive to the idea. Uh, we hit the ground running. The first year we launched the Women in Games Apprenticeship and this year, our second year, I'm very happy to say that we have the Women in Games Apprenticeship, but we also teamed up on the Black Youth Apprenticeship. The reason why I applied was because I hadn't had previous experience at a studio and I felt like it would be extremely beneficial. Uh, so I heard about it through um, DMG, Games Making Games. During our interview we got asked what we're interested in. So based on that we have some unique meetings that we have with people in departments of our expertise. But what we do is we meet with people in different departments, we ask them any questions, they ask us questions, and then we try and figure out how we can get as much information as we can. And they have, you know, mentors yeah. come by, they check in on us, we have, you know, pretty casual conversation. You get to network, you get to know the actual people behind the products that you're making. Networking and keeping in contact with all the cool people that I meet here is up. Uh, priority for me. The apprenticeship program for me was actually uh, an open door in itself because I got to meet level designers who are in a triple A sort of capacity and sort of learning what it might be like to work with somebody. Um, the apprenticeship program has allowed me to share that experience with them. So the apprenticeship program has really exceeded our expectations. Um, our first year we found two amazing women and they're both working here full time now. I'm so thrilled about that. Really this program is you know, really designed to help us create a more diverse team here at Ubisoft Toronto. My name is Mohamed Aga. I'm the Chief Operating Officer and President of Magmic. Uh, we're a small boutique social uh, mobile game developer. Uh, we do primarily card and board games. We're based out of Ottawa, Ontario. Welcome. So what interested me about accepting an apprenticeship at Magmic was learning about the workflow when it comes to developing mobile games. I also wanted to learn about the roles that are involved and the structure when working as a team. Uh, working with our director of development, West Ham, Lauren has been able to uh, directly contribute to our upcoming game. Um, and I think she's very, very excited about that and it's been a good learning experience for her, certainly, and uh, we're very happy to have her on board. Now that I've completed two apprenticeships, uh, my impressions are that things can really be tailored towards what you're interested in and also what the studio specializes in. So they've been very different. So one of them was more mentor focused and it was more about learning about specific roles and what people do. And then the other one was more about learning about how the team collaborates and actually sitting in on meetings and things like that. 
What we hope to accomplish with the program is that uh, the pipeline of you know really talented emerging professionals in the industry who are coming out of school looking to get into the industry, uh, we want it to be more diverse and we want to ensure that more stories are told because we really think that diverse teams tell fantastic stories and they tell new stories and, and better stories and that's what our industry is all about.